What a first half here in the Division 7 championship game. Traverse City trailing New Lothrop 35-7. to There are a lot of people that were uncertain we would ever get to this point. I'm pleased to be joined by the executive director of the MHSAA, Mark Yule. Again, we're thrilled to be playing football here. I'll be in the fourth weekend of January. But uh, how pleased are you to be able to see these kids, these programs, able to finish what they started? Uh, we're really going back to June, Johnny. We've had three goals. Uh, the first uh, was to get our fall started and finished, uh, winter started and finished, and last but not least, our spring. So uh, really, this isn't much of a finish line this weekend. It, it's really the first third of the race. Gotcha. Um, so thankful we were able to get volleyball, girls swimming and diving, and now football to the finish line. But, uh, you know, after tonight, the, uh, the real battle becomes uh, getting all of our winter sports going, including um, our four contact sports. Well, one of the big things things obviously the big initiative is getting the testing and, and a lot of these schools have to get their testing going uh, are you surprised or, or did you expect these types of results with your testing program so the results have been incredible um, when you take all the participants in football volleyball girls swimming and diving and that's not just the kids but that's coaches everybody had to take a rapid test three times a week for football schools that even included their cheerleaders that included uh, those kids as well uh, you can see that uh, just over 5,000 people were part of the rapid testing program and only one percent of those individuals had a positive test and uh at last week's snapshot from mdhhs the uh over 30,000 tests had been conducted and the negative test rate was 99.8 percent so this is mdhhs data and uh you know what we've all tried to do since the beginning of this is to follow the science and the data and uh i think the uh the data that we've been able to compile um really through throughout the entire fall, but in particular the last month during the testing program, not only shows that uh, we can play, but we can play safely. Well, you mentioned there are three phases to this that you'd like to see, obviously winter sports uh, being the next one to go. What's the latest as far as winter sports, when they can get going? So we've had all of our winter teams practicing the four contact sports, basketball, ice hockey, competitive cheer, and uh, wrestling. wrestling yep. They've been having to go, but non-contact practices. So obviously, uh, Governor Whitmer spoke yesterday. Um, there was a lot of new information for us in that announcement. So we'll take the rest of the weekend. We'll figure out exactly um, what this means for our winter sports. We'll examine what the options are moving forward. Ultimately, since with our winter sports going back to November, uh, we have been ready to go. And, uh, uh, whenever we are allowed to play, we will play because, again, I think the number and data uh, that we've gained over the last month uh, shows that it's, this can be done safely. I think preliminarily the idea is to push it back about three weeks to get into the contact portion of it, which would take us to about February 21st by my calendar. Let me ask you this. You've got a boy playing in these state championships, okay? So as a father, okay, your son's going to be playing, right, with DeWitt? Yep. Okay, against River Rouge. That's going to be later today. What is your level of nerves? Uh, truth be told, um, <laughs> Let's that, tell, tell the truth. <laughs> that's about the easiest part of today. Um, yeah, I, I happen to have a kid who's still playing, but the, the real story the last month has been all of our kids in fall sports. Gotcha. It's been every volleyball player. It's been every swimmer and diver. It's been every football player that had their season put on pause. And it's been about all of our winter kids and all of our winter coaches. So, yeah, there will be probably two hours tonight to where I will try and sit back and just watch the game in a little bit different prism. But uh, I don't want anybody out there listening to, to get confused or misunderstand sure. this, that uh, our push here is for for every high school kid in Michigan to have a season this year and a season that reaches the finish line and that uh, continues to be our entire focus. We just need uh, our government leaders to give us that chance. Oh, we appreciate it, Mark. All the best to you. And again, you know, you got a big hat to wear, obviously, as executive director, but it's okay to be a dad and root on your kid. And uh, we'll look forward to that game coming up a little bit later tonight. DeWitt against River Rouge in another one of our state championship finals. But so far... It's been all new Lothrop in this one. 35-7, they lead it here at the break. We'll be back with more right after this.